Hi, my name is Gilad and I'm the CTO at Codron. Codron is an online ID that enables you to easily develop, debug and deploy web applications using your browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug an ASP.NET application. For this, I'm going to open up the project we've created in our previous session. This application contains a simple web form with a label and a button. When the button is clicked, the label text changes to reflect the current time. I'll add a breakpoint in this line and click Debug. I'll choose OK to enable debugging on this website for the first time. I'll click the button to trigger our breakpoint. This window will now freeze. Back at the IDE we can see that the current line is highlighted. The IDE paused the execution and is now waiting for our instructions. We can control the execution using the debugging buttons. For instance, I can step into, step over, or step out the, of the current method. Additionally, the following windows can be useful during debugging. The output console enables us to view messages written using the trace.writeLine method, which we haven't used in this example. The call stack window enables us to view the names and the order of the functions on the call stack. At the top of our call stack, we can see that the button click method was invoked by an on click method of the button class. The watches window enables us to evaluate variables and expressions during runtime. For instance, let's inspect the label's text value before and after the assignment. I'll click Add Watch and enter label1.text as the expression to evaluate. Then choose OK. At this point, the value is myapp. This value was provided in the markup file as we can see here. As we step over the assignment line, we can see that the label's text value changes to the current time. If we click Continue, we can see that the label renders correctly with the updated text value. This concludes our video on how to debug an application with the Codron Online ID. Thanks for watching. I recommend watching the next video where we learn how to deploy this application to the Codron Cloud.